Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to Precision Machine Shed. Today I got a quick tip for you on the metal lathe and how to turn small round stock through your headstock without having that annoying rattle at the end. So let's take a look. Quite frequently I end up turning small little pieces like this. This is I believe a quarter inch just brass round stock and I run it through the headstock. And then when you turn it on you get this. That's not real desirable. So let me show you what I found here. Some of you guys may recognize this thing. And what this is, is this is a limb saver barrel harmonic accurizing, whatever they call it. It's made by limb savers, sold, and it's made to put on your rifle barrel. This one happened to be for a 1022 I had many, many years ago. And I thought it, you know, at the time was a great thing, but since then I thoroughly believe they're a waste of money. However, I've had them sitting around. I've had a couple of them. One of them turned into a dog toy. They work really good as dog toys. And I'll show you how I use this. I had this thing sitting around one day and I had this problem with my wobbly bar. And I took a look at this thing and I was like, God, I wonder if that fits in there. So lo and behold, on my heavy 10, that thing fits almost perfectly in my spindle. So now, when I have this on there, I can turn it on. And now it still wobbles a little bit, but it does make the noise. And as long as you don't have a long piece in there, you can deal with that. And this isn't really a large enough piece to cause any vibrations, so there we go. And of course the best solution to this problem would be to put a spider on the end here. But I made this one mainly for doing barrels, so as you can see, it is not quite, I didn't need it to clamp down all the way, so it's not quite enough for this. And of course some alternatives to the, both of these methods would be to just cut a piece of wood that's approximately the same size as this. Uh, you can do it in several different sizes or some high density polyethylene or some plastic if you got it sitting around. Ideally we would want this guy to be not moving in here and solid but if you're kind of in a rush and you know not much hanging out we can have it wobble a little bit it's not going to be a big deal. Alright I hope some of you guys found that helpful it was a little thing that helped me out quite a bit like I said as long as you don't have a long piece in there you should be good to go and it cuts down uh, that annoying noise and cuts down on the vibration a little bit. So I hope that helped you out. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like, comment below. I always try to reply to every comment and subscribe. I appreciate every one of my subscribers and till next time, stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Hey, today I'm at Almond's uh, Gun Shop and Shooting Range in Morristown, Minnesota. And we got the Mauser set up here. Some mosquitoes are really bad. That's noisy.